us remember we are in the holy presence of God and let us adore him. Mental health is such a big, broad and perhaps even a bit of a daunting subject to understand at times. And when we think about learning about it, it is often difficult to know where we should start. However, taking small starting steps in understanding and developing our knowledge allows us to look after ourselves and those around us more effectively. Do not fear. This phrase is in the Bible 365 times. That is one for every day in the year, because as it says in John's Gospel, there is no fear in love. But perhaps perfect love drives out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. As we have heard in the previous prayers this week, God is with us through even the most troublesome of times. In the people that love us, the people who will continue to support us and be by our side no matter the battles that we face. When learning about mental health, the Bible can be a good place to start, to look for inspiration and strength. A piece of scripture that I find useful is from St Paul's letter to the Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ. God speaks through St Paul to his children that by putting our worries and fears to him in prayer, he will answer us in the love and support. We will simply do our part in handing these worries over. Something that I find really important when it comes to mental health is to understand that it is okay to not be okay. It is okay to have a bad day, week, month or moment. And we are not alone in feeling and experiencing this. Often, we feel like we need to bury negative emotions and that unless we are successful and outwardly progressing in life, that we are somehow a failure. But this is not true. The fact that you are still here, still breathing, still living a life surrounded by love and a future is the most successful that anyone could ever ask of you. You are God's masterpiece, created in the image and likeness of our God. A unique individual who offers and delivers so much. Take some time now to think about what you can do to learn and understand more about your own and others' mental health. So go learn about mental health, understand the people that are around you, give yourself the love and care that you need and deserve. But if you feel like you can't, then don't be afraid to reach out because the person next to you is going to have done or will do just the same as you at one time or another. Loving God. We pray today for those who are confronted by the sadness, ambiguity and confusion of mental health and for those upon whom they depend for compassion and care. 
Look with mercy on all those whose afflictions bring them weakness, distress, confusion or isolation. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give to them understanding, people willing to help them and the willingness for them to be helped. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.